Shabbat Shalom. It's wonderful that I'm starting out this week at Mosaic Law Congregation. And for everyone there and everyone watching, I have a lesson from Korach that's part of Machloket Matters, a curriculum by Pardes, which I taught at Beit Shira Congregation, and of which I'm currently a Machloket Matters Fellow for the Rabbinical Assembly. It's about the conversation that never happened. Moses summons Datan and Aviram to speak with them, and they say, Lo na'ala, we will not go up. We're not going to stand before you. Now, what is going on here? Well, Rashi says, Moses was trying to reconcile with the Tan and Aviram, and they wouldn't even give it an attempt, which makes their punishment all the more justified. His grandson Rashbam disagrees. He, said, he reads in, Lo na'ala, we will not go up to stand before you in judgment. Remember, Moses was the judge of the people, the chief judge, even after appointing others. And the Tanan Aviram took it that Moses was not trying to uh, reconcile with them, but was going to bring them to judge them before the people. And of course you have Shimshon Raphael Hirsch, who I love, the founder of modern orthodoxy. And he acknowledges both as being true. How can both Rashi and Rashbam be true? Either Moses is trying to genuinely reconcile with them or he's there under false pretenses and he wants to judge them. Well, as Rabbi Hirsch writes, it depends on psychology. Moses came up fully with the intention of reconciling with the Tan and Aviram, but they thought he came to judge them, which is why they would not go along with him. How often has this happened to you in a conversation? You intend one thing, but another person takes it a different way and presumes it's another. And the truth could be lost in the middle. Or maybe it's just a misunderstanding of one's intents. And so this conversation between Moshe, Datan, and Aviram, this reconciliation never happens. Either because Datan and Aviram are wrong, as Rashi indicates, Moshe is wrong, as Rashbam seems to indicate, or they're both right, but they just can't understand one another, as Rabbi Hirsch indicates. You be the judge. Shabbat Shalom.